Thanks for coming. Of course. I'm ready to win some singles gold. But what was so sensitive that you didn't want to talk at SmackDown? I've been thinking. I want to make sure that your singles run is a success. I want to manage you. That's great! And you need to distance yourself from Ava. What? I've been watching your matches. You're the real star. If you drop the baggage, you're sure to get a title opportunity. Besides, you know that tag team partnerships never work out in the long run. It's only a matter of time. I know people around here turn on their partners like there's something in the water, but tag team partnerships can work out sometimes. Look at the New Day. And how long collectively has any of them been a singles champion? Okay, I see what you're saying, but I'm not sure if Ava is a problem. Molly says management has been really happy with our tag team reign. I'm sure she'd let me pursue the SmackDown Women's title, too. Molly. Fitting you'd bring her up, considering she's a great example of why tag teams don't work out. I'm speaking from personal experience. You know what she did to me. Everyone knows Justine. Molly turning on you in the middle of the ring is a classic WWE moment. So then everyone knows she's a snake. A snake who has yet to book you in a championship match, despite all the work you've been doing. I wouldn't be surprised if she's holding you back on purpose. My relationship with Molly is different than yours. Molly's been helping me. Listen, I'll talk to her. I'm sure if I ask, she'll set me up with a championship match. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I was actually looking for you. I wanted to talk to you and Ava about planning your next tag championship defense. Representing the division as the tag team champions has been great, but I actually wanted to talk to you about a singles run. Isn't there still one open slot in the Fatal 4-Way for the SmackDown Women's Championship at day one? I'd love to have that spot. You and the rest of the roster. Besides, you're doing a great job as one of the tag champions. Might not be best to split your focus right now. I honestly didn't think this was the case before, but... Are you trying to hold me back? Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up. Justine is convinced that you have some ulterior motive against me because of your history with each other. She thinks that since you betrayed her in the ring, I shouldn't trust you. Seriously? Betrayed her in the middle of the ring? Do you really think that's all there is to the story? It happened on Raw, Molly. You turned on Justine during the middle of a match. Everyone saw. Are you going to tell me that didn't happen? No, I did that, but geez, don't believe everything you see on TV. What's that supposed to mean? I only turned on Justine because I caught wind that she was trying to turn on me. She was politicking with management backstage to get them to break up our tag team. She was so convinced she was a single star, she was prepared to throw me under the bus. But then I found out what she was up to and beat her to the punch, literally. That's what really happened? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this is ancient history. What incentive do I have to lie to you now? And I'll be honest, it didn't end that badly for me. Turning on Justine? Let's just say that making a move like that in WWE is one hell of a statement and lets everyone know you mean business. Wow. Like I said before, I don't have any ill will towards your aunt today. Enough ancient history. Let's talk about your next tag title defense on SmackDown. And I'll think about putting you in the fatal four-way at day one. Here's a woman who lives to fight. The following is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. 
Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became this money in the bank and then successfully cashed in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. The Eradicator has arrived. Ready to pass judgment on the women's division. And her partner, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Pure evil on the face of the Eradicator. You can call it evil, but it's also effective, competing on an even higher level since joining the Judgment Day. I hate to say it, Corey, but you're right. Absolute dominance for Rhea Ripley as of late. The ice-cold expression on her face tells you all you need to know about Rhea Ripley. Rhea has complete confidence in herself. They're here! And L and Ava Moreno. Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. Tag team action underway. Two teams duking it out for supremacy in this one. We talk a lot about who the best tag teams of all time are, but these guys are tired of talking. Both teams are looking to prove themselves and steal the show here tonight. <laughs> Tremendous series of kicks. Stop in the arm. The challenger. Oh no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Oh my god. Superhuman power. What's gonna happen here? Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. Nice drop kick. There's a tag. And she'll make the tag. Look at this. Oh, pump handle. And a gut buster. Nice. Oh, take it down. Don't face first. This could be big. Going up high. She's got her way. She wants it. She's pushed into the corner. Here's a tag. 
Opponent off the ropes. Big back body drop. Goes down low. What are we about to see here? Cross-legged DDT. Saw that one coming. Oh! Now a pin for the championship. Champ with immediate kick out there. She is still in this fight. Stops Ripley's attack. from the challenger. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Seated bionic elbow. Textbook <laughs> vertical suplex. Bam. Tag is made and here we go. Springboard misses the target. with a shot right to the face. Uh-oh. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulder. The champions need to finish the job for the win. Two. And the tag titles stay put. Here are your winners. And the Tag Team Champions, L and Ava Moreno. And these two really do make the perfect pair. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart, I don't come across these two in the future. Hey, did I hear that you and Ava are defending your tag titles at day one? Actually, I'm trying to get into the Fatal 4-Way for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> that would be great for you. Hey, can I ask you something? How did you make it work with the rest of New Day when you went after King of the Ring? What do you mean? They didn't resent you? Resent me? <laughs> they supported me. Just like I supported Kofi Mania and Big E when he won Money in the Bank and the WWE Championship. When one of us wins, we all win. I guess I get that. <laughs> you know what they say. The whole is sometimes greater than the sum of its parts. And being in the New Day is all pluses. You can take that math right to the bank. You've had some interesting experiences with a tag team partner. <laughs> what kind of conversation starter is that? Hello, Sonia, how are you? There, I helped. Sorry, I just have some stuff on my mind. But with you and your partner, do you regret turning on her a few years ago? No. 
Because... I'm sorry, are we having a heart-to-heart -heart here? No, I don't regret it. You know when my career really started to take off? When I stopped playing nice and I started looking out for myself. And honestly, ultimately it worked out for her best interest too. Hey Sean, any chance I can pick your brain for some advice? Sure thing, kiddo. Always down to help. How do you know when it's the right time to make a big move? Even when it might go against company plans for you? Are you asking me as WWE VP of Talent Development? Or as the Heartbreak Kid? Right. Definitely as HBK. I'll be the first to say not to take anything too far. You don't want a reputation for having a bad attitude. Believe me, I know. I see. But sometimes sticking up for myself, <laughs> we'll call it that, worked out for me. When I was in a tag team, I leaned on my partner to make more of the decisions. Then one day, in a barbershop, I stuck up for my own interests. That was the beginning of a new chapter in my career. So what's the answer? I don't know, kid. I'm just an old timer waxing poetic about the past. But whatever you're thinking or doing, make sure you consider the consequences on all sides. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. The following is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna. This woman will tie her opponent up in knots. You're right about that, Cole. Shayna Baszler is so confident in her abilities and her knowledge of this game. Well, who can forget Baszler's incredibly dominant run as NXT Women's Champion? Well, I'd just like to send my condolences to anybody whom Shayna Baszler sets her sights on. striking skills and the world's best submission specialist. champion that's right Cole we're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one it's not very often you can say that
The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs. Welcome to day one, where the tag team champions are defending their titles against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, and Ronda Rousey. It may be a brand new day here at day one, but the defending champions look more and more experienced next to each other every day. More like day 1,000. I hope you didn't hurt yourself coming up with that one, Saxton. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. The challenger's looking shaken. Frankensteiner! <laughs> looking worse for wear in the corner now. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Right, <laughs> Tremendous series of kicks. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. <laughs> Drop toe hold. Uh oh. <laughs> Baszler turns it around. Arm ringer applied. Reversal. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Eight feet. <laughs> Made her pay for her mistake. And Baszler had it scouted. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Finds the advantage after a string of numbers. Ava Moreno with the tag. She and her partner appear to be a well-oiled machine. That's so fast, Michael. Shayna immediately has Ava's number. I can't believe this after the damage Shayna took. It's becoming clear who's pulling the weight on this team. Anyone can have a bad night, Corey. Ava's almost within reach. If her partner can tag in, she might be able to turn this match around. She jumped off the apron. Moreno's tapping out. This is over. We have new women's tag team champions. Looks like she wanted to make a clear statement. At the expense of the tag team championships? If Ava kept competing like that, losing was inevitable. Better to make a move now. Speaking of making moves, she just used the title to attack her partner. Former partner, Saxton. There's no question this partnership is over. Though I don't think the new champions appreciate having their victory moment co-opted for this personal issue. You gotta wonder why the former champ didn't help her partner. They could have talked through their issues and might have kept the championships. We'll never know, Saxton. Choices were made here tonight. Like it or not, it'll be what the entire WWE Universe is talking about.